Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Joseph, a uh, solution consultant from um, VRV Solution. Basically, I want to share the um, our latest software called OTDR 2.0. So this today's session will be actually covering um, basically two specific content. One is what the new GUI that we have bring to you today. And the next we'll be talking about the enhanced testing methodology, which is what we call fiber conflict. All right. So um, the reasons why we want to redesign our GUI is basically we consolidated a lot of our feedback from the customer around the world. All right, so a lot of customers giving us a lot of their inquiries, what um, they are expecting on their OTD testing equipment. So a lot of times they want to have a very complete uh, pictures of what the results is showing them, especially with the uh, pass fail valid. And there are also few of the parameters that they also are very keen to look at, like the total length, total loss, and the total return. All right. So there are a couple of these informations that we have been um, consolidated from all these customers. So that, that is why it brings us to the um, another stage to redesign our this OTDR um, interfaces. All right. So we want to give you a very fresh um, overlook. We also want to give you a very quick easy use of the interfaces. That is why it brings us to the next level. So this, you can see that um, we design it in a very user-friendly manner, which allow you to have a um, very easy toggling between the traditional OTDR measurement trace result view into an iconic display. So you are able to still within a single page, single touch, but however, a different view of experience. So you can easily see from here where you can still um, go into your traditional OTDR trace with the event tables if you still want to do that. If not, you can actually easily jump into the um, iconic display and you are able to actually easily touch any of the icons that you are interested with. Let's say one of the icon, one of the event, it fails. You can click it. You can show you, um, you know, um, what is the loss, what is the return, what is the distance of this particular event, all right? And then what is the analysis that telling you that this event is because of what reasons it failed, all right? If let's say there's no icon as it's been uh, selected, you'll be actually be seeing the total loss, total refractance of the whole thing. So it's still uh, giving you a one grand view of everything, all right? So that is the purpose that we bring the OTDR 2.0 to you. So don't worry, later we will have a um, session to actually do a live demo by our um, partner, KVEX. Right. So, okay, on top of that, um, we are not only just bringing you uh, uh, just a new refresh of the GUI, but however, we also bring on board with us we have a multiple of different new features. All right, so there are a few key features on this table that I really want to bring to your awareness, which is the uh, right-hand bottom, small little icon called add element and events. This is something really interests me is that um, there's no one is capable of doing that by just, you know, bring your mouse or doing using your cursor to any of the OTDR trace, along any of the OTDR trace point. And you can just click on this icon and the, add, the new events will be automatically add on. All right, so this is one of them. Second is that um, we will be able to allow the customers to change the events from uh, maybe a spice to a connector or connector to another other type of events that you, you think is not right. Just for example, why we are doing so is that um, a lot of people know that spice can be, the loss can be too low where the OTDR may not be even able to detect it. All right, so for that particular condition, you may easily use this uh, feature to go to that particular location and add and spice, all right? So this is one of the examples. Second is that um, when we move on, you will be easily see the very, very first things before we want to conduct the OTDR measurement. The very first thing is to ensure that the first contact point, which is your jumper fiber, or we call it launch fiber, is in always clean condition, right? Because a lot of, a lot of times when if the connector is dirty, 
if, if you connect the dirty patch cord into the OTVR equipment, it will actually um, cause, dirty, cause dirtiness to your OTVR port. The worst come to worst, it may even damage the furrow. All right, so the very, very first thing is that we will always want to check that the first contact point is in good condition. All right, if not, all the measurement comes, comes into your display will actually go um, not accurate at all. All right. So you can eventually see that this is the next features that I want to bring to your awareness is that you can easily change that event or you can easily delete the events by just clicking on the icon. So you can see from the right hand top picture. So you can, if let's say you have a touch and hold for a while, you can see that a list of um, selections is available. All right, so if let's say this is a um, connector, Example, this is a connector, but um, it has, if let's say it displays as a spice, because of the APC, you have a very clean um, reflectance that you will not be able to identify that this is a connector. You can change that even. All right. So you can change that even from a spice to a connector, for example. So from the bottom, if let's say you, you as I mentioned to you earlier, you can add the events by moving the cursor and then click on the icon. All right, um, I'm not sure that you are able to see my mouse. I hope that you are able to see my mouse. All right, so you can just bring the cursor to any part of the, uh, the trace. And then you click on this particular icon. The event, the new event will be added. All right, this event will be also uh, presented on the event table. So maybe now you add it and then later you decide that you want to delete it off. You can just click on that event on the table itself. And then you can just select the delete function. So this is something that we have been added into our this OTVR 2.0 version. All right, so uh, a lot of times um, uh, equipment display will be coming in two different conditions. All right, if let's say it's a touch screen. So it can be a resistor, it can be also capacitance. All right, so for, for your for information, all our OTVR test platform is coming with a capacitance um, functionality. So it actually allowed the users to have this pinch zoom functionality, which means that um, you will be able to use a, not only just touch screen, but it allows you to have multi touch screens, which en en enabling you to zoom in, zoom out by just um, using two, two fingers. All right, so this is example, a full screen. You'll be, as normal, you can use a single touch to actually zoom in or full automation zoom of the full view. If not, let's say you want to view at a specific events, you can just use two finger. All right, and this is, um, this that is why it brings us to a next level because of the capacitance um, touch on the screen itself. All right, this is not only just touch screen, but it's a multi touch screen function. So this is some things that I have mentioned earlier. All right, you can easily bring the cursor to any of the ODDR trace. You click on this particular icon, a new event will be automatically added. All right, so you can see that this is initially, this is two and there's no event for this particular point. So this is how you are able easily add an event onto it by just two step, two touch. And that is about it. All right, we want to bring the, the use cases to you as simple as possible so that you're, you'll be happily using the OTDR and perform the right job at the right time at any place, All right? So um, on top of uh, the OTDR 2.0, new feature, new um, user experience, uh, we also want to bring you to some awareness, All right, some new features that we bring to you, which is called um, smart test, OTDR assistance. This is a new features that we added into it free of charge. Please make full use of these features when you are performing some of the tests. So what does this new um, feature smart test bring to you? The main key is that we recreated uh, two specific feed function called express mode and the other one is called certification mode. So you can see that um, First of all, this particular features um, simplified the setup 
All right, so there's minimum setup is required. You do not really need to set up piles with resolution or even the distancing. All right, especially these features is good for those um, new onboarding technician. They know nothing about OTDR. They know nothing about you know, the OTDR trace, how it interprets the results. So what you need to do is just to select the exact mode. It will actually give you a simplified um, minimum uh, inquiry that you need to follow and everything is guided. And then um, the best is it really give you a very fast measurement, seven seconds or even 20 seconds per wavelength. All right. And this gives you the results. No longer OTDR trace if let's say you are not you do not know what is the OTD. All right. So you can straight away jump into using this smart test and it will actually help automatically test end to end. All right. It shows you in terms of iconic. It shows you the past year status. It shows you the event condition. So if let's say the event is failed, it shows you the failed results. All right. So this is really a fast um, measurement, fast detection of the failure, and then it allows you to save the result into the PDA. So it's really helpful for those onboarding, uh, new onboarding technician. All right. And now the day we are no longer just handling um, single fiber, but a lot of um, market, a lot of uh, different segment now today, they are starts growing up, deploying multi-fiber. So uh, maybe you are familiar with, or maybe you are not familiar with, just give you a high level, which is what we call MPO fiber. All right. Okay. So you can easily use this called cable SRM. So this cable SRM um, and able the users to actually perform the test all right, uh, automatically from one fiber to next fiber to the next fiber. So you can see from this particular um, platform, MTS 4000. So the MTS 4000 eventually allowed the users to have two mounted on module. So one module, as you can see, for if let's say you are able to see my mouse moving, you will be able to see that this module is actually attached with the ODDR module. The other one is the um, switch, fiber switch. So you can see that um, we can have two modules attached onto the same platform. All right, and then with a small little fiber jumper attached to between the OTDR module and the switch, and then you can perform the MPO measurement. All right, so you can actually easily um, test maybe some of the MPO you do not need to test every single call. So you can select which call you are keen to measure. All right, and then you can actually um, perform the test and straight away you can see it based on the um, color code. Green is pass, red is fail. If let's say red is fail, then you may want to do some troubleshooting and then you can start redoing the uh, call number two and number five for this case, all right? So you do not need to go through the hazard of testing every single call by itself. So you have the flexibilities of doing that and you have the flexibilities of performing different type of testing on a single platform. Regardless whether it's a single fiber or multi-fiber, we have these flexibilities of performing the OTD. All right. So come to the next uh, application to your um, awareness is the fiber to the home SLM, smart link mapper. This um, particular application is really designed and targeting on the fiber to the home networking especially when you want to test through splitters end-to-end -end from ONT to the OLT. All right, so you are able to use these multi pulses testing through every single point, and they give you a clear visibility of understanding of each event, the loss, the condition. All right, so you will not uh, want to miss any of this event. So this is really a great application has been designed by DRB, um, allowing the customers with a list of knowing about OTDR, but yet you are able to test through splitter by splitter, all right? If let's say you think any of this application bring to your uh, awareness and you are really keen to into each of this application, feel free to reach out to us, all right? We can actually have an offline discussion one by one, by one to one, all right? So this is really minimum setting is required. And then uh, multi-pulses, 
all detectable event will be displayed in a single view. All right, irregardless, it's a one stage, two stage, or even three stage splitters. So you can see that um, we, we come up with this modular solution, um, which irregardless that uh, which platform you are using right now, you are able to attach this OTDR module into any of this platform. So it can come from a very small handheld uh, MTS 2000 to 4000. If let's say you want to move into uh, you know, the keyboarding measurement, as I mentioned, MPO, or let's say you want to test with your uh, Ethernet testers, you can go with the MTS 5800. And at the back, you are able to actually also attach with this OTDR module. So we have these flexibilities of doing so, all right? So now I want to share with you on top of the OTDR 2.0, what the next level that we bring to you with a uh, value added features, all right? So a lot of times when we talk about best practice, we are really focused on the loss budget, but uh, loss budget, as you know, it is only measuring insertion loss, all right? It doesn't really give you much information. A lot of times, this insertion loss actually contributed by various of different different conditions like um, spice connector, uh, ORL connector cleanliness, micro bending. But first of all, before I jump into the best practice, I just want to bring you some awareness. Is that you know by entity advanced technology um, surveying, they give us a very strength a uh, strong conclusion is that the contamination of the connector or the cleanliness of the the connectors, it really gives you the highest failure rate among all these conditions. All right, so the very, very first thing is that we want to encourage people is that always have the best practice inspect before you connect. So don't just blindly connect your connectors. It not only just affecting your result, it may also affecting your OTDR testers. So you can see from the bottom, a good connectors, all right, giving you a, a very low loss, very good reflectance. All right, if you comparing this good connector and the bad connectors, eventually you can see from the OTDR trace very clearly indicated that which connector is clean and which connector is dirty. All right, so this, as I mentioned earlier to you, this connector is the highest failure rate of causing to the network. So the best practice, please, please um, get your connect, every connector, um, inspect before you connect, all right? So um, before I want to bring you to the um, our best practice, just not only the uh, fiber inspection, but the fiber complete. So what is the fiber complete means to you? All right, a lot of, a lot of best practice, what the people nowadays is using is light source power meter. Um, bear in mind, the light source power meter is always in a single direction. All right, and you need to have two units. The worst part is that you need to do an averaging, which bring you to add the second pair. Total is four units to each site. All right, so you need to do referencing in order to zero in your results, and then, and then you'll be able to do a proper insertion loss measurement. If let's say the insertion loss really don't give you a perfect condition, you need to use an OTDR and then perform and see where it goes wrong in the in between the link. All right, so this is purely just giving you the insertion loss uh, visibilities. And when we talk about ORL, um, bear in mind, like source power meter don't really don't or can't give you the ORL. All right, only uh, some specific models in the market are able to do IL and ORL at the same time. All right, so there are more and more um, requirement, not only just focus on IL but ORL as well. So how are we today able to bring you to a high level on, on all these requirements? Not only just insertion loss, not only just ORL, but also with the OTDR measurement. So you can see from our fiber complete solution, we have a few um, features that we want to introduce to you today. All right, so you can see that we are able to show you the bidirectional IL ORL, bidirectional OTDR, and all the fault finder. So you can see that uh, with this tree is available in the fiber complete solution. All right, so how are we able to make full use of this fiber complete? And how are we able to actually approach our measurement? A lot of time, if let's say you go back to your traditional way of doing it, I believe that um, in order to complete all this, 
you need to have at least 30 minutes. All right. So let's move on to our next level of um, strategy. All right. So you can see that this fiber complete is basically a one fiber connection with a single press start button and everything is fully automated to process, process sorry, to conduct all these five different measurements. All right, first of all, it will give you the visibilities whether are you connecting to the right fiber between both end, A and B. All right, because once you are connected correctly, there's a bit sound and it will straight away telling you that you are connected to the firing unit. This is the first feature. Second, you automatically showing you the length of the fiber under test without any start exactly what you want to, want to begin. All right. So this really gives you a clear visibility that this is the right fiber and you are ready to start the test. Once you press the start button, it will do the auto bidirectional IL, bidirectional ORL, give you the pass fill indication, and then followed by bidirectional ODDR or fault finder. All right, so you can see that with a single connection, with a single start button, you are able to see every of these parameters. So let's move in how this uh, fantastic solutions actually give you the bright billions of the parameter measurement. So first of all, when we start connected the fiber under test to both ends, a will actually automatically do the measurement from A to B in the insertion loss, and then it will reverse automatically from B to A to do the bidirectional IL measurement. It will automatically give you the average, all right? Followed by, it will also do the same thing for the ORL. It can be A to B or B to A, because right now it starts from A to B, IL, and then B to A, ORL. So we do not want to waste the time of we, everything, we cut it very short. So since it's already in the B to A, IL, now it starts to go from ORL from B to A, and then followed by A to B. So this process really is a very intelligent solution, allowing you without switching any of the component. Bear in mind, this my fiber complete is an all-in-one single port, like source, power meter, OTDR. But once this is done, it will switch to OTDR. It will perform an OTDR measurement from A to B and then followed by B to A. So you do not need to, first of all, switch to any of the physical port. You do not need to switch any of the application. Everything is all in one hardware and software. And so you are able to actually deciding, all right? And you can even decide what you want to test. You can choose to test everything you can also decide you just want to measure IRORL or OTDR. So there has, there's this parameter which allowing the users to have the flexibility of selecting what they want to measure. So later in the demo, um, we will actually show you how easy this is able to enable or disable from the measurement. So you can see from this particular solution, Fiber Complete, um, it's not only just the flexibility of the function, the features and the parameters, but we also want to bring you to the next level of the flexibilities, which means that you select what you want to buy from the day one. You do not need to spend thousands of dollars to buy everything if you don't need all of them. All right, just for example, some of the customers, they may only interested in IROR. So they can just start from a very basic fiber complete fault finder. All right, later, if let's say they, you are really keen to have the OTDR, you can buy the software called EFCOFF2 OTDR upgrade software. And you can, it can bring you to the next level called Full Fiber Complete, which is inclusive of the OLTS, which is what we call Fiber Complete for Finder, plus the OTDR bidirectional. All right. Or if you are, you are you've, I mean, you, are, you fall onto the next group. All right. Um, if you are only just keen of using the OTDR and you are not needed for the IROR bidirectional measurement, you can always go with the second category and then you can upgrade later and become the full fiber complete solution. All right. So um, I hope that um, you are 
very keen to look into every single of these uh, features that I bring to your awareness. So if let's say um, it comes to my end of my presentation, I will pass it to um, Chris, maybe the next presenter, the one to do the demo. Um, okay, thank you so much, Joseph, for your presentation. So uh, moving on, I will pass to our next presenter from KBEX. Uh, her name is Amalina. So Amalina, you can take over. Okay, thank you, Grant. Okay, so hi, everyone. So first, uh, let me share my screen. Okay. Okay, so before I start, let me introduce myself. Okay, my name is Amalina as an application and support engineer from Kumpulan Advice. Okay, so um, before we start, I will show you on our demo uh, network setup. Okay, for this testing, so I will demo on the FCOM and also TDR. So here is actually our setup. Okay, we are using the PON uh, network setup. So this is our network under test. So we will divide it into two parts. The first one will be a main feeder part and the second one will be the distribution part. Okay, so for the main feeder part, okay, we will test a point to point network testing. So which will be cover the 10 kilometer fiber spool and we will test from the central office. Okay, for the distribution part, we will cover the splitter so we have two types of split over here, one by four and also one by eight. Okay, so we will test it from the premise side. So for this testing, we will do two tests. The first one will be the fiber complete, and the second one will be the OTDR, OTDR testing. So the fiber complete, the testing will be bidirectional. So we need it from premise to CO, and also from CO to premise. For the OTDR, we will do a unidirectional. So it will shoot from the premise straight away to the CO. So I will now show you the setup that we have over here. Okay. So this is our live view. Currently, this is our setup. So we have three units over here. So the first one is the MTS 2000. Another one is MTS 4000. So both units equipped with the OTDR 2.0 and also the fiber complete 2.0. Okay, so for the first one, we will do the point-to-point -point testing. So here is the OTDR view, the VTVDR view for OTDR 2.0. So first of all, I will take a look at the user interface. So what we have over here is basically a standard OTDR. So we have a trace, we also have the result view and all the menus. Okay, so now I will show you step by step and uh, some of the setup. Okay, so for that, after that we will run the test. Okay, so first, I will show you the benefit of using this new OTDR 2.0 is the one page setup view. So as you can see here, there is, this is the setup page. So you can set on the acquisition. So on the network configuration, there are three type of network configuration. So the first one is a uh, point to point. So we also support the point and also unbalanced. And also for the acquisition mode, we have a manual, auto and also the smart acquisition. So the smart acquisition actually, it will run a multiple pass in one time, okay? And also we have another unique features, which is the launch cable automatic measurement. So I will show you how this launch cable automatic measurement works. Okay. So, on this setup, this is my launch cable. So, I will first disconnect my launch cable. So, basically, this launch cable is roughly around 30 meter. Okay, and then I just press the ruler and then we will do a measurement. Okay, so now we've already got the measurement. So it's roughly around 0 0.03 kilometer, which is around 30, 
the C meter. Okay, so now I will continue with the testing. Okay, so first of all, before I continue, we we'll go to the alarm. So the alarm is actually a threshold. So there are several types of threshold. The first one is a default, which is uh, set by the VRV. Okay, so we also have the standard, the built-in standard for the OTDR, which is TIA, ISO, and also IEC. The last one is uh, for the user defined. Okay, so now I will run the test. Okay, so. so here is the one that Joseph mentioned previously. We check the condition of the connector. Okay, so now it's running. So we can see over here, this is the toggle view, okay, so where you can view the info. Okay, if let's say you don't want to view, you can have an event line. So basically this event line will show a total length of your network. Okay, the total view of your network. Okay, so if let's say you don't want to view, so you can turn it off. Okay, so for this acquisition, for this testing, I set it to 20 seconds for each wavelength. So if let's say you want to change the wavelength, okay, so you just click on the number one and also number two. So you can see here, number one is for 1310 and number two is for 1550. Okay, so here is the best result. So you can move the table. And now I will show you about the automatic zoom function. So you can just press on the A, the automatic function. So it will display the total length, the total view of your fiber network and the test. Okay, so there are three types of view over here. The first one is a smart link. So if let's say I'm clicking on the smart link, okay, so basically it's an icon based view for each event. Okay, so you can click on each event. So we stated there's a launch cable as we already set the launch cable around 23 meters. So we display all the loss and also the reflectance for each wavelength. Okay, so if let's say for the trace, so here is the trace view. So you can have a trace and also the cable view on the bottom of it. And the last one is a table view. So for this table view, it's basically an icon-based view, but it will show you the, the loss and reflectance of each event. Okay. Also for here, over here, you can toggle to have a fail event only. Okay, so you just click here to have the fail event only. But currently we don't have any fail event, so it will not show you any fail event over here. So next, we will go to the function that Joseph mentioned previously, which to add event and also to delete event. Okay. So first, I will go to the add event. So how you want to add an event? So you just bring your cursor over here. So if let's say this might be a point that we have a splicing on it. Okay. So you just press the location and then press the add event button. So. Here is the location of the splicing. So this one also, if let's say you want to change to a, another type of event. So you just press and then you can change the event code. Okay. If let's say this one is actually a connector, so you can change to a connector. Okay, so it's already changed to the connector. So if let's say this one is a splice, so you can change it to a splice. So this is for the point-to-point -point testing. So now I will proceed with the multi-point-to-point testing, which will recover the point network. Okay. So we have two OTD hour holder. The first one is actually for the MTS 2000 with the fiber complete and OTD 2.0 on the CO part. And the second one, is the MTS 4000 also equipped with the FCOM and also OTDR 2.0? Okay, 
Okay, so now this is the setup. So for this point to point, uh, sorry, the multi point to point or the point network, we will shoot from this premise side and we will go through the splitter, which is one by eight and also one by four splitter. Okay, so now I will show you the interface of the fiber complete. So this is the fiber complete application. Okay, so basically this is the interface. So we have a view over here, two unit view, as we need to uh, as we want to do a bidirectional, and also this is basically an OLTS, the IR and ORM measurement together with the total line. Okay, so this is the result view for the IL OIL, and also this is the function, the menu function uh, view. Okay, so first, before I start the test, I will show you the setup. So what is the benefit of this Fiber Complete 2.0? So the first one is actually it have a one uh, page view setup, just like the OTDR 2.0. So here is the setup. So we will take a look on the acquisition. Okay, so what we have here is actually an OTDR measurement, as mentioned by Joseph previously. This FCOM also equipped together with the OTDR. So user can set whether they want to turn on the OTDR measurement or not after doing the fiber complete measurement. So we have three types over here. We have a non-unidirectional OTDR testing and the bidirectional OTDR testing. Okay. So for this demo, for demo of, uh, today, we will use a unidirectional test, OTDR testing that will shoot from the premise to the central office. Okay. So for the OTDI acquisition, we can set it to as per OTDI. Another one function is the IL or RL measurement, where this is the function of the fiber complete. So we can have an ORL standalone measurement. You can have IL or RL bidirectional. IL bidirectional, or we don't have to set anything. So for this demo purpose, I will use an IL and ORL bidirectional testing. Okay. Also, we have a function of fault finder, but however, this fault finder function will only available if we turn off the OTDR measurement. Okay. So next, I will show you the alarm. So this alarm is basically the threshold setting for the fiber complete. So we have a default uh, threshold and also the user defined threshold. So user can set up to four user defined threshold. Okay, now I will show you the new features of this fiber complete. The first features is an instant length measurement. So I will show on this live screen, I will connect a fiber. Okay, so I will connect the fiber to the little part and then we show an uh, instant length measurement on the screen. As you can see here, it will automatically measure the length of your fiber network. So the total length over here will be around 15 kilometers. Okay, so it's also will show the length on the other side of the tester, which is I'm using the MPS 2000. Okay. Another features, another new features is actually a auto easy configuration transfer. So as you can see, there are button over here. So this is for you to transfer your configuration to another tester because basically Normally, if you say you want to use an OLTS, if let's say you want to use a fiber complete, so you need to talk, uh, you need to set the setup for both units. But by using this fiber complete 2.0, you can only press this button and we automatically uh, exchange the configuration. So I press here. So FCOM setup exchange complete. So meaning that both you need already set up with the same configuration. Okay, to check, you can go to the setup on the other side and it will have an exactly the same 
uh, configuration. Okay, so now I will run the test for the fiber complete test. And also I will show you how fast is our fiber complete measurement. Okay, so I will show you the timer over here. Okay, now it's actually complete the test, the ILORL test together with the length measurement for the fiber complete. So basically the timing is just around five seconds, which is really fast. And then we capture all the result. And after capturing the result, as you can see here, it's still testing. Both unit is still in testing mode because after running the fiber complete, we are running the expert OTDR. Okay, so before I switch to the expert OTDR, I will show you the result view of this fiber complete. So as you can see here, there are two type of, basically it's a three type of uh, result view. The first one is IL or RL. The second one is actually a smart link. Another one is a fault finder. Okay, smart link is actually icon based. And fault finder is basically the, it will show you the location of a, any error or any loss together with the uh, loss value. So here you can see the loss, if we capture the loss from B to A, A to B, which is bidirectional. So we have an average loss together with the ORLA and the ORLB value. So here's the result and also the length. So the length previously is around 15.129 kilometer. So this is the result. So now we will go to the OTDR. So it's very easy for program between the fiber complete and also the OTDR. So now we go to the OTDR. So currently the OTDR is running by using the pawn mode because we are using the sticker. Okay, so okay, now we already have the result and you will notice the fiber completes already stopped testing. So meaning that because I'm, I'm running a fiber complete bidirectional together with the OTDR unidirectional. So now, this is the OTDR result. Okay, so same just like previously, you can have a smart link trace and travel. So I will show you on the trace where there is an icon for the splitter. Okay, so here, as you can see here, we are using a one by eight splitter. Okay, and also one by four splitter. So we have two types of splitter over here. The first one is a one by eight, another one is one by four. Okay. Also additional features. I add some more. Okay, so for the point network configuration, actually we can define the number of splitter and we can set the splitter to an automatic discover mode. So meaning that you don't have to define what type of splitter you are using. So now let's go back to the FCOM and let's try to generate the report. So if you say you want to generate the report, you just press on the fast report. Okay, so you can key in all the information. Okay, save the, uh, the file as a PDF and then you just click save button. So now we already have the safe report. So there are two types. The first one is the raw data. The second one will be the PDF, in terms of PDF. So another uh, function, another features of this VRV that uh, is actually a smart access anywhere, where this smart access anywhere is actually an application for you to remove the screen and also for you to transfer the data. Okay, so for example, we have a report over here. So now we want to transfer the data. We want to transfer the result to our PC. So now currently I'm using a smart access anywhere. So you can go to the file transfer. So this is basically my PC. Okay, so I'm selecting where I want to put the result. So from here, we select 
This one is actually the internal of your uh, unit, your fiber complete or your OTDR. Okay, so select the fiber. So here is the result. So you can click and then you can transfer it to your PC. And you can straight away transfer it to your PC. So here is the test result on your PC. Okay, so also this Smart Access Anywhere uh, also provide with the smartphone okay, application. So you can download it by uh, for free.